pathetic, but am I going that way? I tell you what, I want... It would be quicker walking, actually. I want one of these for... <laughs> I want one of these for the rest of the show. I am actually off... Uh... <laughs> this is pathetic. I'm, I'm pathetic. Off to see uh, Hugh Bonneville and... Uh... If I go any faster, the camera crew wouldn't be able to keep up. So that's why I'm going at a very safe pace. Um, they're giving me a hard time in my ear, let me tell you, it'd be quicker to walk. Right, OK. Watch my head. I'm, a I'm actually off to, the, off to the canteen. Heads, heads, heads. La, 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 la. I'm getting a bit, uh, I'm getting a bit cocky now. Getting a bit cocky now. Getting a bit cocky now. Come on. Come on now, I'm causing trouble. I will stop here. Whoa! You can't just say that with two seconds notice. <laughs> no, it's marvellous. It scared the living daylights out of him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great fun. That's good. I was getting better. I was getting faster. Um, right, let me explain. Uh, which lift would you like me to go in? And then we're going to go. Oh, they're going to just change my microphone pack whilst, uh, whilst we're here. That's no problem. Uh, let me tell you why I'm... Uh, why I'm going. I'm going up to, up to the canteen. Obviously, I just said a moment ago that, um, oh, my earpiece is gone now, so I can't. Did you, un you've unplugged my earpiece? Yeah. You just put the new system on. Okay. It's, the it's all gone quiet. Hang on a second. There we go. We, um, we've also got, I think Gemma Collins is, uh, Gemma Collins is upstairs as well. She's, um, Right, okay. I've got everything now. Okay, Let's so move up. Lift. Right then. Here we go. I'll, I'll go all right upstairs and look at this behind you. I could have gone up the stairs, <laughs> couldn't I? I could. And if I'm if I'm honest, we could all have we could it would have been easier to have walked quietly and gently and sedately up the stairs, wouldn't it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back from the jungle <laughs> in the lift with you. I have no You're idea. You're doing so you well. You're a sweetheart. You're doing I'm so, so well. I'm so sorry. Well, do you know what a shock it was to see you uh, as I have sailed yeah, down the side of the building? It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely crazy. There we are. Thank after, you. Uh, after you. All right, we're going to go this way, I think. Uh, this is uh, this is the ITV uh, canteen. Uh, staff here are donating to uh, Tech Santa to have their pictures taken with George Wax figures. Um, so it's uh, something like two pounds per picture, and uh, and they're, I think they're just down here actually. They're fresh, fresh from Madame to Swords. So where? Oh, oh gosh, look at that. Is the real deal. Have you seen these before? I've had a cheeky little kiss with him. I'm going to get a picture of you with him as well. Have you got your two pounds to donate to Tech Santa? I'm a bit royal today. I can lend you two pounds. Could you lend me two pounds? Thank you, you very much, Nick. That's very kind. That wasn't planned at all, was it? <laughs> you knew that was coming. <laughs> I didn't, but he did. <laughs> well done. Um, I'll, uh, so, would you I'll give Brilliant. you that? Phone to get a quick little snap. Is it alright if I sit down? It's not going to fall no, over, is he? It's absolutely fine. Has anyone got a cheeky little phone? We can right get a picture of Phil. Okay, yeah, yeah someone get a, a good quality one too. Oh, there we are, just a smile here. Alright, George. Brilliant, Phil. That's absolutely <laughs> amazing. Just, uh, just a few sort of casual shots there. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. Actually, do a Scofie now. If you're quick, you could do what you could do a Scofie now. George Clooney is starring, uh, of course, in uh, in a Downton Abbey Tech Santa special on Friday, the 19th of December. But if you want to see an exclusive clip, join us at eight o'clock for a world exclusive. I uh, should also uh, say that this um, clapperboard here, uh, from when uh, George was on the special Christmas edition of, or oh, the 19th of December edition of Tech Santa uh, for Downton Abbey. That is on the website. You can auction that. Go for you. Could that um, amazing thing to have. I don't think your signature is actually uh, on this one, uh, George, but, um, but everyone else actually is. I've got a feeling when they had this idea, I think you'd, uh, you'd left. Yes, that's right. <laughs> you had indeed. <laughs> Very quiet, George. Very quiet. Um, let me just go into... I just want to stand by the side of... Uh, hello, are you the technology team? Yes, yes. We are. The ITV technology team. Stay there for just a moment because I just want to stand beside Hugh Bonneville because I want to, uh, I want to know how tall Hugh Bonneville is because I'm not sure I've ever met him. Very good. 
There you go. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you, George. Um, well done, guys. Thank Lovely you. to see you. Thank you very much Thank indeed you. for all your help. Matt, tell us what you did for Tech Santa. Uh, we did the Three Peaks Challenge, which is the three highest mountains in London, uh, London in England, <laughs> Scotland and Wales, uh, in 24 hours, uh, 11 hours of driving, lots of walking and lots of pasta and scotch eggs. Whose idea? It was mine, yeah. Was it really? Yeah, yeah. my idea. And how much did you raise? Uh, we raised over £5,000. Um, 200 people sponsored us. Oh, right. That's Lovely. brilliant. Yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very, very much indeed. Right, Phil, we've got a little surprise for you. Where's Joanne Cole? She's standing right there. I hear you have a crush on someone. <laughs> Small crush. <laughs> Joanne's friend said she will donate £10 for a kiss off of you for charity. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Well, you, would you like to come to the yeah, bar? Let's go. Shall I take you to the bar? Let's have a drink. Why not? Um, because obviously uh, <laughs> we're here for uh, for 24 uh, hours, right the way through for uh, 24 hours supporting Tech Santa and uh, helping to raise money. But um, I would like to know now uh, what fundraising you are doing. What are you planning to do? Do you have an idea of something that you'd like to do to raise money for Tech Santa? Uh, let me know on Twitter. It's at ITV Tech Santa, or you can go to Facebook.com uh, Tech Santa. ITV. Um, I've got my uh, my challenge to, uh, to broadcast live for 24 hours, but 31 teams are also taking part in a very different challenge. We launched this this morning on this morning. They are all attempting to cycle to Lapland on static bikes for the rest of the time that I am on air. Lapland is uh, 1,369 miles away, and the average person can only cycle up to 18 miles an hour. So this is a nice on impossible tasks but we're asking you to help them reach their goal because you can buy bonus miles for each team and find out more about them by going onto the website you can also pledge your money uh, for for miles there one pound will buy them one bonus mile so uh, help them get uh, closer to Santa in Lapland and raise money as well so who are we talking to we're going to go to Colin first from Hello, Colin. Hello, mate. very nice to see you shouldn't you be cycling oh, <laughs> Colin has raised over £60,000, haven't you, doing the 48 hour Free Peaks Challenge? Well, the Well Child has, the charity. Amazing. That's incredible. me on my own, but yeah, our charity. How are you doing today? We're doing okay. Yeah, I think you guys can start cycling now. I think you should be. I think you should go for it. They've been told not to. I don't know why they might have been told not to, but go for it. I'm telling Get you. Get clocking the miles up. <laughs> <laughs> Like We've got Jess here from AXA PPP Healthcare and you're the main organiser yes, and you've previously raised over £10,000 haven't you? Yes we have and at AXA PPP we do a lot for charity throughout the year so this is just a real honour to be here to raise as much money as we can for charity. It's fantastic to actually have you here and uh, and how, how long have you done? Um, I've done an hour so far but our team have been on an hour on an hour off so yeah it's good. Absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you. We'll, thank we'll, we'll, we'll come Good back. Luck. We'll come back thank a little bit later. Yes. Uh, you later. Well, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep, keep it going. 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 Yeah. Uh, we've got some music to uh, to help keep you going uh, and uh, and keep you uh, keep you motivated. <laughs> so there's no idea what's it's going on. And suddenly, someone hands me an umbrella. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I know what it's for. This is bad luck. Uh, here is Joe Pasquale, Todd Carty, and the cast of Spamalot with Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. Brilliant. Some things in life are bad They can really make you mad Other things just make you swear and curse When you're chewing on life's gristle Don't grumble, give a whistle And this will help things turn out for the best And always look on the bright side of life Always look on the right side of life. You try it. <laughs> if life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten. And that's the laugh and smile and dance and sing. When you're feeling in the dumps, yes. don't be silly chumps. Just purse your lips and whistle, that's the thing. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the right side of life 
For life is quite absurd And death's the final word You must always face the curtain With a bow Forget about your sin Give the audience a grin Enjoy it, it's your last chance anyhow Always look on the bright side of death Sire, when you look at it, life's a laugh and death's a joke, it's true. You'll see it's all a show. Keep them laughing as you go. Just remember that the last laugh is on you. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> Always look on the bright side. Life is quite absurd, and that's the final word. You must always face the curtain with a bow. Excuse me, is that a shrubbery? Well, yeah, it's a nice shrubbery. I took it from Philip Schofield's garden. What a stroke of luck. We'll take it off your hands. Pay the lady, Patsy. Huh? Will you run it? Sit yourselves, uh, sit yourselves down. There thank we go. You. Hi, Todd. Hello. You're right. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to see you too. Um, well, I mean, what a show! Still going strong, and and everyone that comes out seems to absolutely love it. Yeah, you've got to. It's one of those things. That, you know, it's. With so many bad things going on in the world, you come and see that two hours, it's all gone out the window for two hours. Are you the only two original cast members? I'm not original. None of, are you original? Are you oh, original? I'm original, yeah. <laughs> I'm original. Yeah, I'm original. Yeah, I'm just a dead. That's what I am. I've, uh, I've got some, uh, some facts here. Yeah. Um, 21 on-stage moustache incidents. Yeah, there's a lot of those, yeah, because everybody, so many people go on with different... Because there's only how many people in the cast? About ten people. About ten or twelve, yeah. And we're the, I think we're the only two, really, that play the same character. Yeah. So everybody else is doing all these round-robin things. And they keep losing... Three the suspected cases of swine flu. Yeah, there's quite a few pigs in there, aren't there? There certainly yeah. is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. yep. Three outbreaks of nits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That strange was there, job. We do have Nitty Nora, the bug explorer, around the back there, going for the tub <laughs> oh, of So many wigs there, then everybody's got nits. Oh, you're not oh, serious. Yeah. 92 pairs of coconuts? Yeah, yeah. How oh, many yeah. coconuts do you get from About About 90 Pairs. Yeah. I, I have them shaved and massaged every night. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> do you really? Yes, I well, do. good gracious, yes. I never knew that. Yeah. Um, you, you, did you uh, did you think you had Prince Charles in the front row? Well, it actually was him. We, we, we thought it was a lookalike, right? He actually oh. turned up last year with Camilla, and we're going as a bloke like Prince Charles. You could even go like that, and it worked out. It was him. He just came out for a jolly. He sent a note back saying, "I love it. He loved Monty Python. He loved yeah, the Goons." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He turned up one night just on spec, and we're all going, "Look, it looks like Prince Charles." And it was. Imagine he was about four rows back. He wasn't in the front, and you could see him because. It's quite lit in that auditorium there, and everybody was laughing, and, and uh, people were looking around going, that looks like Prince Charles, and it was. He had all buddy guys at the end, it was amazing. What do you love about it? Um, I just, I love singing Bright Side of Life, and as Joe said, it's, um, it's almost like um, being in therapy, but they pay you and you don't pay them. It's yeah. really, it's like that. I mean, it's just, it's fun, it's feel good, and uh, people have never seen it, but I mean, there's going to be a strong Monty Python fan base, yeah. but people come and you see them going out, laughing and smiling, it's, you know, two hours long, it's just... People go out with a with a song and a smile in their heart. I'm surprised that really that you didn't take up skating. 
<laughs> well, isn't it funny? Yeah, I was too busy. I was too busy. It's funny, I was isn't doing it, really? this, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, that. you were th you've got this booking before it was the, you know... Oh, yeah, I mean, I've been asked a few times to do the skating. International skating tour. Exactly, but I'm, I'm too busy teaching all the professionals, you know, so I never get the chance. <laughs> um, would you like to hold up our little sign there? I certainly uh, just, would. This uh, one just here. Hold that. Yep, just uh, whack that up. Like just so. so that... There you go. We'll... We'll just take a little freeze of that because you never know where we'll use it. Um, it's a little scofy moment. There you go. Okay. Uh, guys, thank you very much no, indeed you for, for performing for us today. For you, Love that. Uh, Joe is going to be staying with us to do some modelling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Listen, mate, I'm, re I'm reading this for the first time yeah. as well. <laughs> uh, because around 5.45, we've got the chance uh, for you to bid for some exclusive items of clothing previously owned by the likes of Tom Daly, Robbie Williams, Louis Walsh and, of course, Joe. Yeah. So uh, we've got... We it's dancing on ice related, I'll, I'll say that much. Uh, so it's time now for a break. Uh, coming up, we've got some Stephen Mulhern. We've got the X Factor finalists and I'll be heading out to an iconic London landmark to mark the launch of Tech Santa in spectacular style. Don't go away. you can help people like me. Search Dementia Friends, watch the short video and add your name to receive a free little book of friendship. Thank you. As a pup, all Quince did was sleep. Who knew one day he'd save a blind person's life? My life. When he was two, Quince became my guide dog. One time when we were out, we went across a main road. And suddenly, Quince tugged me back to the pavement. Seconds later, a car raced past. Quince saved my life. Whenever I go out for work or to see friends, I put my total faith in him. Because without Quince, I couldn't be Dave. But every hour, another person goes blind, which means more guide dog puppies need to be trained. Sponsor a puppy like Quince, and you could change your life. For just one pound a week, you can watch your puppy grow up with regular pup dates, photos, and even a cuddly toy. Please call Guide Dogs for the Blind on 0800 587 5522 or text puppy to 63333 and sponsor a puppy like Quince to change a life like mine. There's still time to make your windows special this Christmas when you order by the 10th of December with Hillary's. Save up to 50% off a stunning range of blinds and curtains in our fantastic Christmas sale. Measuring and fitting included. Simply pick a time that suits you and choose in the comfort of your own home. But hurry, order by the 10th of December. Call 0800 389 6416 or visit hillarys.co.uk. Hillary's. Make a window, make a room. This is the story of you. It's about you, the mum. You from the market down the road. It's about you on the bus. And you, with a ridiculous shirt on. And it's about us. Because if you've been hurt and it's not your fault, injury lawyers for you are the people you should call. We're here to give you advice and support and help you get your life back on track. Injury lawyers for you. Call 0800 440 or visit injurylawyersforyou.co.uk. Flexi Torch from JML. The amazing flexible torch that you can stretch, bend, and stick. Flexi Torch has three powerful LED lights, extends up to 57 centimeters, plus it's even magnetic. Drop your keys. Thanks to the bright LED lights, you can easily locate and retrieve them using the strong magnets. Compact, lightweight, and portable. Keep it in your car, handbag, or in your coat pocket. Makes an ideal gift this Christmas. Only $9.99 at Asda, Boots, Tesco, and Wilco's. Bring baking home with the Folding Stand Mixer from Morphe Richards. This unique folding mixer includes a range of easy fit accessories, so you can create a variety of cakes and pastries hassle-free from the comfort of your own kitchen. Cleaning up is quick and easy, and this compact mixer will fit in some of the tightest kitchen spaces. Enjoy delicious treats you'll be proud to share. Discover more at morpherichards.co.uk slash folding mixer. Please call 0800 587 5522 and sponsor a life-changing guide dog puppy. Thank you. 
A Doro mobile phone gives you loud, clear sound when you need it most. And with a great camera and large display, you can relive those precious moments in quieter times. For an easy-to-use and stylish mobile phone, buy a Doro today. Available now at EE stores and online. Or find out more at doro.co.uk. Prepare to be blown away. Ben Midler is here. Ellie Goulding. Dane Charlie Batty. What about that? So much entertainment, you'll think Christmas has come early. The Royal Variety Performance, next Monday at 7.30 on ITV. Welcome back to my 24-hour live TV marathon for Tech Santa. Yes, I have changed my shirt. Now then, this is uh, one that's very uh, close to me, actually, because I am a patron of Shooting Stars Hospice. I'll lay that right on the line straight away, but very proud. Uh, Together for Short Lives is one of the six charities supported by Tech Santa this year. They provide essential support to help struggling parents cope with the pressures of having a terminally ill child. They support all 53 children's hospices in the UK and one of those is Shooting Star Chase Children's Hospice where Denise and her daughter Kai Kai visit and uh, and I've got to say that I have actually seen that hospice firsthand because uh, as I said I am a, I'm a patron. In fact in the early stages the plans for when it was going to be built were on my kitchen table. Uh, Denise and Kai Kai uh, are, are here now. Um, it's lovely, lovely to see you. Thank Hi, you very Philip. much indeed. She was a healthy baby, wasn't she? She was, yes, she was. She was born full term. Um, uh, yeah, healthy. How did things change for the family? Um, immensely, immensely. I mean, you know, from the simple day to day things, um, everything just changed. So, what immensely. was the change? What happened? Uh, essentially, a, a, uh, acquired a cold, um, and it, instead of going to her chest or her, to her nose, it went straight to her brain. Unfortunately, took everything away from her, but her fighting spirit. So um, wow. we have a, a very young lady here. So such a shock for the whole family. And well, you are you are her main carer. What's the what's an average day like for you? There isn't really an average day for us. They yeah. you know they can sort of like fluctuate from um, quite settled to quite manic. You know, um, also or maybe even a bit of both in one day. So there isn't really a, a, an average day as such. What part of family life does? Because uh, she's this has been a long and tiring day for her. So she's uh, she's wow at the moment. Yeah. Uh, okay. But what, what sort of, um, uh, of things, those family activities, does she get the most enjoyment out of, do you think? I mean, Kai Kai loves to be the centre of attention and she's got two older siblings, so they tend to put her in the centre. So, so long as she's, you know, being catered for, whether it be telling stories, um, baking, cooking, taking part in our everyday things, which is what we try to do, um, is include her in everyday things. Do you have help at home? We do. We do have um, a care package um, that suits us um, quite well. Yeah. Uh, Kate's for a couple of days. How important is the hospice to you? It's a major part um, in our life. It really does. It's, it's made so much difference over the years. I really um, can say that without some of the thi- without them, some of the things that Kai, Kai, and myself and my family have experienced would never have really happened. You know, they were a major contributing factor to us having as much of a normal life as possible. Well, you were nervous at first, weren't you? I was extremely. I was. I just think my understanding of the hospice, um, you know, of what the word hospice meant to me, um, was a bit negative. um, And it wasn't until I went there and really realised that, you know, there's much more to, you know, the organisation than my my understanding was. And that's when I embraced um, it with both hands and my my children too. And uh, and so I suppose it's one of the silly things to ask you, but how grateful are you to them? Extremely, extremely. Um, Yeah, they've they've been there um, on every occasion when I need them in an emergency. They've been there on every occasion when I need them, just, you know, just for the respite that they offer. Um, Like I said, a major contributing factor to our lives and making it as normal as possible for but it's 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 the fact that um, and she loves it but but you also just get that bit of a break and it makes such a big difference as well i mean i do attend the, the center with her and people think oh you know do you get a break but i do get a break and it's the simple things like getting up at 10 if i need to rather yeah. than getting up at six you know having my meals cooked for me you know and just knowing that i can just take time out for myself knowing that she's well looked after by the caring staff, so it's... She loves the hydrotherapy. She thing, loves she? the hydrotherapy. And it's one of the only places that she accesses a pool. Um, so, you know, that's a major thing for this us. Is, uh, this is... That must be... Uh, that must be so relaxing. As you can see, for all of us, it's just a lovely um, thing to experience for all of us and share with Kai Kai. And she loves it. 
<laughs> ah, just amazing. Well, <laughs> £20 of your money can pay for an hour of crucial nursing care for a terminally ill child at a children's hospice and donating to our Tax Santa appeal really could not be easier. To give £5, text SANTA5 to 7070 or you can uh, stretch to £10, text SANTA10 to 70760. Uh, you must be 16 or over. Please ask the bill payers' permission or donate by phone. Call 0300 123 6060. Standard charges may apply, so please check with your operator. Or you can donate online at the, uh, the Text Santa website. 100% of every donation will be split equally between this year's Text Santa charities, details of which are on the website now. Now, Denise, um, obviously we couldn't, uh, couldn't let Kai Kai leave without uh, uh, maybe having something of a treat. And she, she, she really loves her soaps, doesn't she? She does, yes. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> uh, please welcome Corrie's Mary, that's actress Patty Clare. Hello. There we I go. Hello. Come, I come and have a seat. Way, yeah. yes. Come and have a seat next to me. Lovely. If you can get in past my, past my. Uh... Hello, lovely to meet <laughs> you. <laughs> I've been hiding from a half an hour. <laughs> so we have some gifts for you. So we have a Coronation Street tour. Oh wow. Emmerdale goodie basket oh, for you. Wow. And courtesy of Disney on Ice, Disney on Ice celebrates a hundred years of magic. Oh, that's wonderful. That's for you. Thank you very much. You're very that's welcome. Amazing. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> and she, so she absolutely loves it. She'd be. Psst. So cross that she missed all of this <laughs> and the spark out. I can't catch her up later on and let yeah. her have you, got, have you got a phone with you? Um, but where's, your, where's your phone? Yeah. Come, come in here and, uh, and let's just... If you stand up by the yes, side there, course. because when she wakes up, she, she should see this picture. That, that, <laughs> I try not to wake her up. <laughs> there you go. So if you, you come in here like this and let's okay. just have a picture like that. OK. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. And then just take one with just the two of you, because oh, yeah. you're the soap. You're, so she, she adores you, so just, just, just do day. that. We'll stand out for that one. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Thank you. That's a great pleasure. Thank, thank you, you very much indeed. And uh, come and come and have okay. a seat, yes. see Patty, because Patty's going to be joining us a little bit later on uh, with, uh, with news <laughs> of a text Santa Corrie special. <laughs> And also a charity netball match. I hope you're going to tell me about it and not ask me to play. Mm -hmm. uh, where the stars of Corrie took on the stars of Emmerdale. Yes, it's already been done. Yes. And I'm told it was a, it was a shocking result for, for all involved. Well, I'll tell you about it later. We're just getting over it now. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Yes. Quite traumatic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, might have given that one away. Uh, in, uh, in a few minutes, Miley Class and Rav Wilding will be uh, giving you a few uh, fundraising ideas. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, once, uh, one of the effects is involving a space hopper. First, let's see what, uh, what you've been getting up to online. Um, so uh, so let's, uh, let's have a look here. Look at all those fantastic pictures. We were asking for your Scofies, and now we are, uh, we're getting your favourite Christmas pictures. And this is so that we can earn a bit of extra cash for Tech Santa by photo today. Um, all you have to do is to upload a funny Christmas pic on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag uh, Tech Santa Kodak Moment. OK, so you can see that is real. I'm just checking that that's what it says down there. Yeah, there it is. There you go. That's the tax, uh, Kodak moment. Uh, then uh, Kodak Alaris has agreed to donate one pound to Tech Santa for the first 40,000 posts. So uh, if, you, uh, if you would like to give that a go, it count, retweets are also counted uh, as well. So do that. Uh, here are some that have, uh, have actually already been sent, so let's have a look at them. Uh, we've got, uh, well, select me some. Let's have a look at this one here. Uh, we've got um, Adam, uh, any old random one? There you go. Uh, my 24-hour challenge with Scope starts this morning at 11 a.m. Good luck. And there's the, uh, there's the hashtag that we need. So already we've got the money for that one. Uh, Kodak gives one pound to Tech Santa for each Christmas photo posted with a hashtag, and there it is. So thank you, uh, Elodie Vidal. That's uh, very much uh, appreciated. Uh, let's have this one here, and uh, we can have a look at. Uh, if you roll that up a little bit, because you're, uh, you're the there, it's the oh, I can't see the who it is at the bottom because that's actually in cut off. But never mind, that's the way it goes. 
and there's uh, there's another one which is also in cut off I can't read that one uh, so let's say hello to Janie Barker well done Janie all absolutely marvelous thank you very much indeed now then by the magic of technology and we'll figure that out as the course goes because quite frankly so far we've got 17 hours to sort this out that was a bit rubbish uh, <laughs> technically we can go live with the Hawth Theatre in Crawley where there is a court jester awaiting thank you and um, and we'll uh, we'll we'll wander over and say I can say hello to Stephen Mulhern hello Stephen <laughs> Can you hear me, Stephen Mulhern? Oh, is that back of someone's head? Look, that's not Stephen Mulhern. Is that Stephen Mulhern? No. Who's that? Who's that man? Who's that man? He's been caught on Stephen Is Mulhern's laptop. Does he know he's on the telly? <laughs> this is the business. It's, oh, it's gone. No, oh, I can't. I can't believe it. Um, Tech Santa is all about raising uh, money for six great charities. So why not combine your Christmas present buying and donating to Tech Santa? Tech Santa. I'm not quite sure what I said there, but if, uh, if it was what I thought it was, it's not right. Plus, in the process, you could get your hands on some collectible fashion memorabilia. So here to run us through the available auction lots that you could own, um, we've... Uh, oh, we've got a problem. Oh, well, hang on. Well, it's all right. I'll, I'm, I'm going to do a couple of tweets here because... Uh, I haven't actually said anything on my own Twitter feed all day. I knew at some stage something was going to crumble and I think it might have done now. So hold on a second. Whilst they all sort themselves out, let me just say thank you very much indeed, Charlie uh, Richer. Charlie Richer, uh, he said he's going to do the whole 24 hours uh, with me. So thank you very much indeed, Charlie. Uh, fab show so far, says uh, Kelly Leroy. Uh, that's a lovely one. They've got some nice pictures as well. Uh, then we've got every penny and pound counts. Keep going at Scof and your uh, uh, amazing Tech Centre time. And one more. Let's see if I can get another one whilst we're just figuring out what everyone's doing. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, the, the Zoe Fletcher, she's just done the Tech Centre Kodak moment. And uh, I wonder if I can show you that picture. Can you get in and see that one? As that's just what we were talking about doing there a moment ago. There you go. And uh, and she's and she's actually done it with the little the little Christmassy thing in the corner here. Look, see that. So that's what makes it a perfect Christmas picture, right in front of my uh, my advent calendar, which is uh, which is terrific. So uh, my 24-hour live marathon is all about uh, getting you involved and getting you donating to Tech Santa. It's the time of year to help those near. So uh, with some fundraising ideas. Now we do have Mylin Class and uh, and Rav Wilding. So hello there. Hello. You, look... <laughs> you are doing so we well. We took you by surprise then, I think. Yes, you did. All right, Lovely Very to well. see you. All right, You've been right. talking to your wife. How are you wife? doing? Good to We're see you. We're all worried. Have you eaten anything? Do you know, I haven't. Have uh, you had half an eclair? No, I didn't even. I didn't even didn't get. Didn't even try that, it. Didn't even get that. I, I didn't looked have time. amazing. I must you say. You can't. Suddenly, you can't. And, and this is always the, the the case with television, as you well know. Is that you make something on the telly, and then something serious comes along, and you can't be seen with a mouthful of eclair. Very true. So, uh, so you've both been getting involved with some fundraising. We what have. We, we, have? we have been. I went to a school because a, a lot of people think that it is just you know all about sitting in a, in a tub of baked beans, which is yeah. perfectly acceptable. Of course it is. But you've got to keep coming up with new ideas as well. So I went to a school uh, in North London where some children. We're making their own wrapping paper, like with little potato peelers, there they are there. Uh, <laughs> and they were covering it in glitter and sparkles and then going out into the playground and selling it to their mums, to their dads, their nans. It's a really what good idea. That's a lovely, yeah. That is a lovely yeah, idea. Potatoes there. Yeah. And um, Rab, what about you? Got more well, physical, did you? Yes, slightly, but uh, one of these was involved. I, I went to see a bunch of beavers, six to eight year olds in oh, okay. Essex. And they set themselves a target of £250 for Tech Santa to do a bounce of them. There they go. There's me just about to burst that one, I think. Um, <laughs> and they did different challenges. One had to do as many bounces as, as he could in a minute. Uh, some were doing it for an hour and some did a race. And as you can see, I didn't do too well myself. But they all raised money and that's the great thing. It, was, it doesn't matter how wacky your idea, yeah. the kids, as, as did yours, showed that you can do pretty much anything. Think of some yeah. crazy ideas, some money. yeah. Um, lots of Santa-themed fundraising yes. around the country. In Loughborough, there's a Santa railway ride. Imagine getting on that train. Uh, so they, they were on the train, shaking buckets, raising tons of money, and that was in Loughborough. It'd be like a dream, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you got on there. Not just come true. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Santa theme as well. I've seen there's a Santa dash that's going on in Salford. That's a fun run over a 5K course. That'd be a there we go. That would be a great sight, wouldn't it, if you saw that in action? 
I love it. A multitude love of that. Santas. Yeah. Off they go. Brilliant. And uh, in Southport on Friday, they had carol singing galore. Lots of singing Santas. We've had running Santas, yeah. Santas on a train, singing Santas. And even, it says here, Spike from 911. Really? Uh, wow. That will be a good um, one. Uh, what about this one? Festive rolling zorbing. Now, have you ever heard of zorbing? Where I they have, get in a big sort of, zorbing, of hamster yeah. ball. Well, that's going on in I Scotland. I had a go at it once, and I just I suddenly remember where it was. I uh, it was for the police down in uh, Bristol, and I had a go, and <laughs> I, had was, a go? I was pushed by a horse. Amazing. <laughs> I got in the big ball and was pushed by a horse, as you I did. know you I haven't had much it. sleep. Did that really happen? It did. <laughs> Well, if you're feeling it's tired tonight, yeah. that's what we need to that's do to wake you up. To do. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think I did that. Yeah. <laughs> that's like fun. Uh, we've also got one here in Bexley Heath. So you've seen flash dances before where you might just be walking along, along the street or in a train station and then everybody just starts to sing. Well, loads of children did that today and so they did it to All I Want for Christmas. Oh, it started amazing. with one little girl and then the entire shopping centre just kind of came to a standstill. Are you oh, across great. the CITV thing that created some short films called Tech Centre? Did you know that? I mean, yes. Uh, d uh, this is to showcase some ideas that uh, that you can do to raise money for Tech Centre. Yeah, um, yeah some of the, the ideas that we did are now being played out on CITV. So the, the school that Miley went to and the, and the Beavers that I saw, those short films are on CITV uh, from now until so 19th December. you can get some December. ideas, figure Brilliant. out, maybe okay. make your own wrapping paper, get bouncing, get bouncing. or yeah. find a horse and go zorbing. <laughs> you can do anything, just as long as Jeff you Brazy's can... Jeff Brazy's done fun. it, Emma Bunton's done it, Rebecca Adlington, Joe Swash, Ben Hanlon, uh, you, obviously, and you, obviously, because yep. that's why you're here. So that, that's, that's so those films are going to be played on CITV uh, yeah. all the way through to the 19th of December. So all of our films are going to be on there. Fabulous. Great. Thank you very much Keep indeed. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And good luck, Philip. Yeah. Keep going. No, you're very kind. <laughs> I have no intention of stopping. Uh, right, uh, let me know what you are up to uh, with Tech Centre. We'd love to know how you're supporting us and raising money for our six great charities on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, how long we got? 17 hours and 24 minutes to go. <laughs> Easy. Nothing. After the break, find out how you could get a piece of uh, Robbie Williams or Tom Daly, all in the name of Tech Santa. And, uh, and if you want to see what I got up to during the breaks, then you just head to the website. It's all streamed there. And don't forget to keep donating. Uh, it couldn't be easier. Here's a reminder of how. And there it is. How will the new pension changes affect you? Pension changes are all very confusing. Are we going to be better off? Can I take all the money in one go? How much is tax free? What are the pros and cons of annuities? I don't understand the drawdown bit. I really don't know what my options are. Pension is one of the most important things in your life, so you need to make sure you get it right. The pension changes are going to affect most of us. So our witch experts have written a free guide that clearly explains all the new changes and what they mean to you. Call 0800 221 8181 for your free copy. Good, clear, independent advice. Easy to read and easy to understand. Just goes straight to the point and tells you what you need to know. We show you how to maximise your pension pot, explain the state pension changes, tell you about annuities, what income drawdown means, how it could affect your tax, and our jargon buster to help you understand the financial terms. Call which now on 0800 221 8181 for your free pensions explained guide. In fact, it's free. Is, is wonderful. Brilliant. It's done the legwork for us, really. Rivita Thins. Anything goes. The Winter Garden from Crocodile is brilliantly designed for all year round enjoyment. The unique, fully enclosed glass structure lets you enjoy your garden, whatever the weather. Call 08000 112200 to see how Crocodile could design and install a lovely winter garden for you. That's 08000 112200 to transform your home Crocodile style. I'd like to talk about compensation for my accident. Have some red tape, underdog. Oh, why does claiming have to be so complicated? Have some more red tape. Right, National Accident Helpline. They've got specialist solicitors for all types of injuries. They'll help me cut through the red tape. I'm sure we can untangle this. Now get knotted. For simple expert advice, call National Accident Helpline on 0800 556 557 or go to underdog.co.uk. Oh dear, it looks like she's not feeling too good. A cup of Lemsip Max all-in-one will help. It soothes her five symptoms of cold and flu 
and starts to get to work in just five minutes. There's nothing stronger or faster for your cold, flu and chesty cough. No appointment necessary with Lemsip this winter at Boots. Wishes really can come true at our online toy bazaar. Like the Xeno Interactive Monster for £80. That's £4 per week for 20 weeks, interest free. And this Barbie Malibu house for £100. That's £1.92 per week for 52 weeks, interest free. That's the Littlewoods Touch. So, who's going to help me this year with the gingerbread stall? Ellie, how about you? Don't let your chance go by. You'll make it if you try. So try to be the first one up. You don't want to do it. And try to be the first to touch the star. So try each day to try. When you own something, you care a little more. Everyone who works at Waitrose owns Waitrose, so they care more. It's a great piece of meat, isn't it? What are we using it for today? My spaghetti bolognese. Is it local? We're only 70 miles away. Nice tomatoes. Where are they from? They're English. What's the point of being discerning with your ingredients if you're not discerning about your stock? Nor stock pots are made with real ingredients for a real meaty taste. Make your meals as good as mine, almost. Tech Santa, it's the time of year to help those near. Hey, what are you going to do to fundraise? Well, there's so much to choose from, isn't there? I mean, I could do a, a sponsored bike ride, look. Tech Santa, it's the time of year to help those near. Go to the website for more fundraising ideas. TechSanta.co.uk Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I've not been tweeting very much because I cannot get onto the Wi-Fi. It's a nightmare of all the technological miracles we've got going on here at the moment. Getting my phone onto the Wi-Fi is proving a nightmare. Uh, welcome back. Uh, 400 minutes into my 24-hour uh, TV marathon. Still to come, Miley Class reveals how you can get your hands on some celebrity clothes, including Tom Daly's trunks and a very special festive outfit from Robbie Williams. It's that First, time though, again, I've got Philip. a feeling it is time for time uh, one more of our advent windows. On the advent and it's number calendar. six. So, uh, oh, the trousers are riding up. Here we go. Ah, OK. So this, uh, this says, Philip, watch the monitor again. Watch the monitor again. I am watching the monitor. Hi, Philip. This is Louis. I'm in my X Factor dressing room. I know you're earning a lot of money tonight for an amazing call, so keep up the good work. I've always wanted to tell you, Philip, that you remind me of an older Louis Walsh. You look like a presenter, and you act like a presenter, and you've got amazing star quality, and you're getting a lot of work on TV, let's be honest. So what I've done is I've sent you a megaphone because next time you leave the building, you're going to need it. So everybody, lift your phones and donate. It's all in a good cause. Go on, do it. Louis Walsh, you were a star. Thank you very, very much indeed. Round of applause for Louis Walsh. There we go. Come on, there's more in here than that. Don't you dare start flagging on me now. <laughs> right, Tech Santa is all about raising money for six great charities, so why not combine your Christmas present buying and donating to Tech Santa? Plus, in the process, you could get your hands on some collectible fashion memorabilia. Here to run us through the available auction lots that you could own, we've got Mylene Class. I'm assuming I'm going over that way, which is worrying because you looked like you weren't going to come to me. <laughs> I could come to you, but my models are there. That Good. hiding. Uh, no, nope, I'm happy to do this. So what we got? <laughs> well, what we've got, other than no Wi-Fi, is plenty yeah. of nice dresses. Uh, some iconic pieces that uh, people could bid for in our exclusive Tech Santa auction. Uh, you're not going to believe what I've got up my sleeve here. Well, they're very not short very sleeves. Much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much at all. Uh, how does Robbie Williams' outfit sound to you in the form of a Santa suit? I would say suit? if you were a big Robbie Williams fan, of which there are many, this is a, uh, a big buy. Well, would you like to see it? Yeah. OK, here it is in all his glory. Donated by Robbie Williams himself. <laughs> Come Stop on, Robbie, don't be shy. Come on down. Oh. I think they're showing Robbie wearing it. So, let's, uh, let's bring him down, cos you can see here in the background, there is that, that's the Santa suit. Hi, Robbie. That's the Santa suit. 
And here he, uh, here he is now. It's still, it's it's this uncanny. one. This is the very suit that Robbie wore. Hi, Robbie. Uh, it comes in a festive red, as you can see, complete with a fake fur trim yeah. all the way to the moment. It's an authentic copy of Father Christmas's outfit. The hat can be dressed to the left or to the right. It's the gift that keeps on giving, what can I say? Oh, I love it. No, there's only so much you can do. But that, well, I'll the hair that the I'll beard's included. It's, it's very, it's like those people on QVC who can just talk about like a watch for 40 minutes. Just keep I moving think it's really, really clever. Around. But no, that's great. Um, I actually, uh, it was it was a tech stand today anyway, so I was, I've been, we've all been around this one because it's, um, it, this was this was very famous and part of, of tech stand. So you so know this it's well? It's got pedigree, I've seen it before. Okay, well, if um, you are a Robbie yours. Williams fan, uh, you could be wearing this on Christmas Day. I mean, it could sort of double up as a dressing gown. Well, the hair and the beard are also included. The sunglasses, uh, uh, although there aren't any sunglasses <laughs> on him, so unless you're wearing any sunglasses underneath it, no, no. the sunglasses, yeah, he's not, so there, but there are no sunglasses. Uh, but one, winning this item, you could have a Christmas that you will never forget. Uh, maybe uh, you could uh, you could wear your celebrity Santa suit to raise money for your Christmas event uh, for Text Santa. So thank you very much indeed, Robbie. Uh, excellent. Uh, it's a little bit quiet today, quiet Robbie. Today. So okay, well you. next up, thank you very much, Robbie. Thank you, Robbie. Get bidding, guys. Next up, we have a dress owned and modelled by Amy Willerton. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, you are, as we know, Amy Willerton, she is a, a yeah. beauty queen, modelled a lot in her own right, and uh, she's donated one of her very own dresses. Okay. Well, we'll wait for Amy to come down the stairs. Here she is. Here she is. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, Look at you. Spinny dress. So, uh, who are you wearing? Um, do you know what? This is a dress I wore the other night at an event, and I had so many people online say, "Where do you get this dress?" So. Here you go, this is where you get it. Text I like something. the little plastic panels. Chevrons. Very cute. Chevrons. 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 Always stay back. three chevrons back. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go faster stripes you got there. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> this dress, a lot of love. It, it's, it's beautiful dress. It's a new dress by Self Portrait, so it's it's brand new. Mm. But I've I've just worn it, so I know. What I've sort of it. size would I need to be it's, to get into this? It's an eight. It's okay. an eight to ten. You know. Or but look at the little side panels. Could you, could you give us a Could you give us a little bit of a? There you go. That's all very lovely. Thank you. Where did Thank you wear you. it? Where did you go in it? I wore it to the RSP. Did you? Yeah, just last week. That's why I thought, bring it in. Well, that's a, that's a proper bit of celeb memorabilia. All you have to do yeah. is to bid online in order to add this striking and very beautiful dress to your wardrobe. Remember, all the money goes to Tech Santa. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Amy. You. Well Thank done. you, Amy. Looking well gorgeous. Thank you. OK. Avert your eyes. Next right, up, yeah. our next item of clothing has been donated by Olympic diving medalist Tom Daly. So this is a very small item, I'm assuming. Uh, they're uh, sort of, sort of tight and blue, I'm imagining. Ah, uh, there we go. Well, I'm going to have to add something to this. Tom has very kindly signed them, but I don't know if I dare ask you to show that. Oh, you oh, did. Oh, you already have. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Uh, what right. can I say? They're, the, well, they're there's blue. not a lot you can say, really, <laughs> is there? Uh, apart from the fact, there's the fr front view. Could, could you like to turn around so we can? Uh, there you go. There's the. Uh, there's the. There's the other one. <laughs> uh, pretty teeny. So they are Tom Daly's swimming trunks. If you're a Tom Daly fan, maybe just putting those on could give you the inspiration to swim like a dolphin. Uh, the website is the place to go to place your bid. Look at look at this. He can't even help himself. He's, he's put them on and already uh, the swimming has got to him. Thank you very much indeed. Do you wear little speedos? What do you swim in? Of course in? I don't. I'm board shorts. Are you board shorts? Yes, high? of course. Okay. My dad made the first surfboards in, in the UK. Did he? Yeah, he did in his younger days. Yeah. yeah do you, do you own them? I have, Can you surf? Uh, do you know what? That's a really good question. I wish I had one of his boards because I would have loved to have had one. But I, you know, I'm not a very good surfer. It's just too cold. Uh, right, time for lot number four. And if you win, it could bring you the luck of the Irish because uh, this is from Louis. Well, actually, it, there was something from Louis on its way, but it's taking quite a while to get here. So it's not something that can really be modelled. Oh. Unfortunately. OK. So hold that thought. OK. And while you're holding that thought, while it's on the way, whatever it is he's sending over, I've got something modelled by Joe Pasquale. Oh, <laughs> no. I, that, that's such a tease, I can't believe Joey, that. Joey, where are you? <laughs> hey. it, didn't come, it, it didn't come with trousers. <laughs> Joey! Oh, my oh, God! God. What have you got in there? No. I swear to God, if that's my phone, no. I'm leaving right now. No. It's mine. It's I've your got, phone. I've got it on vibrate. The thing is... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, right, I'm not happy. Half an hour ago, I was King Arthur, and now I'm like a chubby ladyboy. <laughs> look, look at the back. No! Mm. <laughs> 
no! The things you see when you haven't got a bike to park. Don't even look at that, Jerry. Oh, no. Okay, so... So, I can't imagine how much this is going to raise. This is from Dance in a Night. Yeah, so you recognise it, don't you? Flash. Flash. Saviour of the universe. Look at how muscular I am in the top. Where would you imagine the person who's bidding for this to wear this? Probably in an institution of some sort. How many more have you got to do? Just the one more. One more. I'm just sorting out the timings in my head here. If you fancy only the iconic black and red lightning bolt leotard, all you have to do it, to place your bid is to go to the web. Yeah, I've got the back I'm shot yeah, here. I'm lunging for go you. to the <laughs> website. Uh, all the <laughs> That is the worst sight I'm going to see in 24 hours. Oh Put it away, yeah. man. That's like an idiot. That, yeah. No! <laughs> Imagine the viewer figures have gone right up now. No, they <laughs> haven't. I think they have. <laughs> uh, thank you very Am much. Am I done? Yeah, you are. Okay. You are. Uh, go to the website if you would like uh, like that. Bum not included. Uh, sixth and final auction. What have you got? Oh, something very special indeed. Uh, yours very well suited and booted, aren't you? Oh, is this the... Sa yeah, this is a good one, actually. It's a Savile Row suit donated by the very stylish chat show host, uh, Jonathan... Ross, and so uh, let's bring him Jonathan, on. Are you there? Oh, not him on, but the suit on, I think. Oh, it is. No, it's, it's not. It's him, kind of. For a moment, I thought it was. <laughs> okay, well, what we have here is a three piece exquisite tweed suit, and uh, also comes with this fabulous tie as well, as you can see. I mean, he's, he's quite a large lad, isn't he, Jonathan? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a bit chubby, I think some would say. <laughs> um, let's. <laughs> You just, know about suits. Just joking, just joking. I was on his show the other night. He gave me a hard time for being okay, on. What's a good? What's the mark of a good suit then? If somebody wanted to get this for their husband or for themselves? Well, I, mean, I think it's a, it's a lovely car, and the great thing is that what this has is provenance. It's been worn and old, uh, 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 and worn and. Held by uh, one of uh, one of Britain's best loved TV presenters and chat show hosts and comedians, so therefore it must be worth fortune. Please. How much would you give for it to wear Jonathan Ross's suit? And can we just just appreciate the line? Yeah, it's very nice actually. Pretty fabulous. Gorgeous, the exquisite three-piece tweed suit comes with a luxurious Lanvin shirt and a blue spotted tie. If you want to bid, as we said, go to the website. And remember, these are just the taste of some of the celebrity items that are up for auction. For information on all the items, have a look at our website where you will also find other celebrity offerings available. Don't forget that all the money you donate will go towards the six charities supported by Tech Santa. And I will be donating the shirt from my own back. Yes, this very shirt will go online later, once I've taken it off. <laughs> so uh, keep your eyes open for that. After the break, I'll be catching up with the X Factor finalists, including Stereo Kicks, Ben Haydow, uh, and Only the Young, and also Jay James. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. Yeah, that was thank lovely. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much. Um, what are you willing to pledge to Tech Santa to see your favourite X Factor finalists do for you, would you like the Stereo Kicks blow you a kiss? Maybe you want Ben Haynow to read out a special message, or is there something else that you would love one of them to do now? Send your pledges uh, to our Twitter uh, Twitter feed, which is at ITV Tech Santa, or if you can, then maybe you go to facebook.com forward slash Tech Santa ITV. You must be 16 or over. We are back in a bit. It's a great piece of meat, isn't it? What are we using it for today? My spaghetti bolognese. Is it local? We're only 70 miles away. Nice tomatoes. Where are they from? They're English. What's the point of being discerning with your ingredients if you're not discerning about your stock? Nor stock pots are made with real ingredients for a real meaty taste. Make your meals as good as mine, almost. Morrison's make Christmas special with all this fresh veg. Any three for just 150. At that price, I'm gonna veg out. This is Jazz the puppy. See Jazz run. She's always jumping about, except when she's sleeping. Shh. Watch Jazz then. Sit, Jazz. Isn't she clever? She's not like other puppies. She's special. This is Jazz, Mum's guide dog. See Jazz and Mum walk us to school. That wasn't very easy for Mum before. Her eyes don't work properly. Watch Jazz and Mum go shopping. Mum couldn't do that on her own. Look at Jazz and Mum take us to the park. We go to lots and lots of places together now. See Jazz help Mum. 
be, Mum. Every hour, someone in the UK goes blind. For just £1 a week, you can sponsor a puppy like Jazz and change a life like mine. To sponsor a puppy, call 0800 160 1023 or text Jazz to 63333. You'll get pup dates, photos and a cuddly toy. And you see your puppy grow up to help someone like my mum. <laughs> Boursin, le plaisir intense. How will the new pension changes affect you? Pension changes are all very confusing. Are we going to be better off? Can I take all the money in one go? How much is tax free? What are the pros and cons of annuities? I don't understand the drawdown bit. I really don't know what my options are. Pension is one of the most important things in your life, so you need to make sure you get it right. The pension changes are going to affect most of us. So our witch experts have written a free guide that clearly explains all the new changes and what they mean to you. Call 0800 221 8181 for your free copy. Good, clear, independent advice. Easy to read and easy to understand. Just goes straight to the point and tells you what you need to know. We show you how to maximise your pension pot, explain the state pension changes, tell you about annuities, what income drawdown means, how it could affect your tax, and our jargon buster to help you understand the financial terms. Call which now on 0800 221 8181 for your free pensions explained guide. The fact it's free is, is wonderful. Brilliant. It's done the legwork for us, really. When you're on your feet all day, a foot massage is just what you need. Presenting Best Foot Forward Mini Foot Massager from JML. Now you can help revive tired, aching feet. Press down to activate the soothing vibrations, whilst the six massaging rollers knead those aches and pains away for ultimate relaxation. Treat someone special this Christmas with the Best Foot Forward Mini Foot Massager from JML. Only $9.99 at Asda, Boots, The Range and Wilco's. Every hour, someone in the UK goes blind. So please call 0800 160 1023 and sponsor a life-changing guide dog puppy. Thank you. Your spark. Every year, it's under threat from colds and flu. Bodies may ache and minds may turn to cotton wool. You just don't feel yourself. Beecham's can help change that. Beecham's Max Strength All-in-One helps relieve your cold and flu symptoms to help unlock your mind. So we'll help you get back to being yourself. Get your spark back with Beecham's Max Strength All-in-One. Dedicate this winter to drama every night at 9 on ITV Encore.